Welcome back. Since we already talked about how dreams can challenge our perception of reality, I thought a good idea, let's talk about dream interpretation because no one is doing it right. So the thing that all the dream interpretation books have wrong is that you have your own subconscious mind and interpretation of symbols that you have built up throughout your life that nobody has exactly like you. So therefore, when you read a dream interpretation book, they're telling you their interpretation or more than likely someone else's interpretations of their dream symbols, which might relate to your personal understanding of symbols, or it might not. It could be completely different. And even if it's slightly different, you have to take all of the pieces of your dream and interpret each one for you. And when you put all those symbols together and you're using somebody else's definitions, you'll end up with an entirely different interpretation. So, how do you do it? First of all, you probably want a pen and paper very close to your bed. So when you wake up, you can write it down, whatever your dream was, as soon as you wake up. Otherwise, the conscious mind comes in, you get back into a beta brainwave, and everything that happened in the other brainwaves, which is uh, alpha and theta, is probably going to be gone. So right away, you want to write down as much as you can. And when you're writing things down, just don't write down what happened, but write down the floor was white, the sky was green, I smelled a certain kind of cedar tree. Whatever it is, write all those details out as much as you can and write them hopefully in order that they appeared in your dream. So now take that paper and set it on one side and get out a new sheet of paper and go through each item and you want to ask yourself, what does this mean to me? If I was to dream of a white floor, to me that would mean clean. So that's the meaning it would mean to me. So on my dream, here I have one paper, I saw the white floor, next paper I would write clean. Now if I saw some beautiful trees, right, that to me would mean ancient knowledge, right? That's the symbolic meaning that I give huge old trees. Now your answer might be different. That's why you're doing this, right? So whatever it is for you, write down on the line whatever it meant. To me it would mean ancient knowledge. So now I have clean ancient knowledge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each item as it came up in my dream, write down the meaning, and take those words and string them into sentences, which hopefully will string into a paragraph. And now I have a paragraph from the alpha, theta, and possibly gamma brainwaves speaking to me in the beta brainwave, giving me a message from the other side of myself. When you do that, when you go through that whole little process I just gave you, write out the symbols, write out the meanings, string it together into a paragraph. When you go through that whole process, it will surprise you. And it probably is going to relate to something in your life. I don't know what it is, but probably it's going to relate. And you don't have to figure it out all at once. You don't have to be Mr. Detective, okay? If it doesn't make sense to you right away, just leave it. And maybe in one or two or three days, it will make sense to you. It will just, something will happen and things will come together for you and you'll go, oh, I get it. <laughs> and when you get it, it might surprise you and it might be really fascinating. 
So there's this whole side of our lives that most people don't enjoy because they don't get enough sleep, they're strung out, they're stressed out, and they don't experience their own dreams. It's this whole flip side of life and it's so fascinating. Not every dream has to have a huge life altering meaning or not every dream has to be a, a huge warning. It could just be interesting and that's enough. So I hope you'll try this out. I hope this is valuable for you guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.